Now, this is a British one. That's what it looks like, but this is a special one because it's all cut away to show you what's inside it. Yeah. That's what the grenades look inside. All this area, all this space here, will be full of explosives. Uh -huh. So, what you do, when they're sent up to the soldiers, that's not fitted. Oh, isn't it? Right. It's all full of explosive, but it's not really dangerous because there's nothing to make it go off. Right. So what you do, you get those come in a separate little box, and these are really dangerous. It's called a detonator. And if you hit that against something hard, it'll blow your fingers off. <laughs> so very carefully, they have to take the bottom off, and put that into the grenade, like so, then screw that back on, and then it's ready to be used. Now what you do now, there's a lever on the side, isn't there? So you hold that lever nice and secure, and pull that pin out. As long as you keep hold of the lever, nothing happens. But when you throw it, that spring in there makes that lever come off, bing, and it flies off. That then sets fire to that detonate, the fuse in there, and it burns for four seconds. So when you throw it, you, it goes pop, one, two, three, four, and then the detonator explodes, and that sets off all the other explosives. <laughs> oh You've got to be really goodness. careful with grenades. <laughs>
extra when we get back.
educate me. Basically the same. You've got the bulk yeah. of it in the bigger, and you've got the seats down the sides. Yeah. Yeah. There was no. Very much the same. Yeah. The NBC kit.
What is this? It's a back to front centurion. Oh. They took the turret off and then put the square box on it and they had a 5.5 air in it. It's a back oh. to front one. It runs no. back to front. <laughs> um, Doesn't matter with those. They put a 5.5 air in the middle there. Yeah. It's been took out and they put a, uh, a table in the back and uh, seats and they put done 10 reels on the back, telephone reels. Right. And they use it as an observation post on Shruby Ness. That's quite yeah. an observation post. And yeah. to get the speed out of it, backwards, they put a conqueror mm -hmm. Every time they fired, the tur turret ring split. Oh. So they... Um, yeah. They, so it didn't work. John is trying to restore this. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, he's made new floor plates for it. Yeah. Um, we couldn't work on it because we had to stop working on it because there's robin's nests and bird's nests in it. Ah. And uh, they're very environmental friendly here. Yeah. <laughs> it's an Avery. Armored, yeah. Armored vehicle, vehicle recovery. Royal Engineers. There's something. It has a dozer blade on it. Oh. It's a dozer uh, tank. Yeah. Engineers one. We had them in the regiment, but. They were a gun tank like that, mm. but it had a dozer blade on it. Yeah, it didn't have the big gun on it, it just had 20 pounders and 105s on it. Yeah. They, they, the ones in the regiment was basically to dig a hole yeah. so you can just have the turret up. You, yeah. You couldn't see the bottom. Yeah. Hold uh, down, it's called. Yeah, hold down, yeah. So this for removing obstacles? That's for blowing them out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Fires the dust bit. Yeah. And it had a fascine on here as well. Yeah, well, what is this? I've seen this. Fascine. Uh, what what well, I've seen? It's in the in the first, oh, first World War, mm -hmm. Churchill's ad was the same as this. And they had this and they had you should put faggots of wood on it. Yeah, to, faggots, yeah. To get over up, trenches. To drop yeah. into trenches. Right. Well, this is the same, but they have aluminium pipes. Nice, okay, yeah. They just, they just tilt it forward and it drops into the ditch. Yeah, I've seen these. I just didn't know what they were for. Yes, nice. It's a scene carrier. Ah. Uh -huh. I did have a photograph of a church somewhere in my locker. Wouldn't like it. Ooh. Low with gunnery school and I classified it as a Centurion tank gunner. <laughs> mind that oil. I don't know why they put that there. Oh. Um, leaking. They're having a clear up sometime. That's, that's a 20 pounder gun on that, not a 105. Yeah. 56 ton they weigh. Centurions? Yeah. Combat weight. I used to drive Conquerors, William on the car part, I used to drive them as well. Low with gunnery trolls wing, when I was at um, the automotive trolls wing at Bovington. I had three months wow. over there. First time I ever drove a, a Conqueror. The night before, they threw that user's handbook at me and told me to read it. <laughs> Why? Yeah. You're taking it out tomorrow. No. <laughs> I've never drove one before. Now's your chance to learn. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So that, that uh, that. <laughs> that's trial on the fire, yeah. That's the recovery one. Yeah. That's got but motion, motion problems. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's not usually like a crane on recovery vehicles. On the front. On the yeah, front. I've never ever seen one. We made one for ourselves. We are ourselves when we, when we was the first museum. Mm -hmm. We made our own when we did restoration here. Yeah. We made our own. We look more or less the same. Lovely.